What's up YouTube, Jim Reyes 13 here coming at you with a uh, just a model airplane review today. This will be pretty short, nothing uh, too extensive as in regards of uh, like an airport update video uh, time length. But uh, uh, this plane, this is the JetBlue Airways Airbus A320 in their retro uh, library. plane used to be in the Mosaic Taufan, uh November 763 Juliet Bravo. Um, then it was painted, I believe it was, uh, I believe it was December, uh, sometime maybe. It was definitely in the winter time season, uh, I don't, don't know, because I can't remember exactly which month, but, uh, school gets me, pretty much consumes most of my, my mind when I'm, uh, you know, when the semester's going on, so I don't really remember these little details, but, uh, regardless, uh, it's, it's flying around, it's been flying around for months now. Uh, some little things you'll notice that for the Talfin design, they just have a classic look of, uh, you know, just JetBlue written all over the Talfin. Because typically, when you see a JetBlue plane, and what I say that is, is basically they blew it up. Like, all the tails always say JetBlue on them. Uh, except for the paint schemes like the Red Sox or, uh, uh, like, the Veterans plane or, you know, that, you know, that idea. But uh, all the ones that don't do that, they have the uh, JetBlue titles written there. So I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about for those aren't familiar with JetBlue. As you can see, uh, just, you know, stated right there, just like that. And then this one, the retro, it's just kind of blown up more. Very cool, though. Very, you know, intricate. They always do a fine job with their tail designs. Um, I do like the classy look of the color of the plane, how it has that uh, orange, that barcode type orange. And then dark blue. It really it reminds me a lot of the Lufthansa retro um, on their. I think it's their 321, and they also have one uh, retro one on their 747. And it looks, you know, uh, with in terms of like the stripes right there, it looks pretty similar to me. Um, then as usual, JetBlue always marks their engines up, and this one has 1-800 JetBlue. Uh, typically on the JetBlue engines, they have JetBlue.com or. The classics, if I'm not really even sure what classic planes there are left, they have www.jetblue.com. Um, I know on the 320s they have one of each of the classic tails with billboards, so they, they kind of modified it there, but I'm not honestly sure if they actually have the legit classic. I know the E-190s are all converted to either tartan, blueberries, barcode, and that one paint scheme they have. But um, yeah, uh, the box on this plane, uh, this isn't the... I mean, it's, I, we don't need to spend too much time. It's just a generic Aero Classic box, so I just kind of uh, brought it out. Just, you know, uh, this, I don't even think this is the, yeah, so this is the Vets and Blue one. But uh, regardless, it's literally the same thing. I just didn't really, you know, don't really care about that. So, um, you know, JetBlue, if you're not familiar, again, uh, the A320 seat 150 people. They all have FlyFi uh, installed, which is their version of Wi-Fi. It is very fast internet. It's free. Um, I remember when I was on there, I was probably getting as up to 25 megabytes per second. That's really fast, uh, especially in the, up in the sky. So you can pretty much do anything up there. And you can also pay for, um, uh, faster than that if you're going to stream movies or something on uh, your flight. Uh, in the bottom, you know, generic, just, just a gray belly, nothing too serious. Has the stand right there, has where the landing gear bay doors are, uh, has the, uh, the beacon light there. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a red dot right there. Um, and uh, let's try to see what else there is. And then one last thing I can really think of is the titling is very nice. Um, they have, you know, JetBlue Airways. It's really the font that I like about Jet, JetBlue Airways and then New York International. I think that was a cool little um, thing they did there. And then uh, we'll just kind of zoom in to get to the details of it a little bit. So. It's a really nice plane, I think. It, they they did that. They did a really good job with it. Um, hoping to see it. I haven't seen it yet because obviously I'll be in, I'm in school, so it's kind of hard to catch up with all these planes. And uh, yeah, I still haven't even seen Blueprint yet. And I've been, <laughs> it's been to Charlotte a handful of times. I've just been, I was either in Pittsburgh or still in school. So, but yeah, I hope you guys like this uh, video of the Chapel Airways retro. Uh, library of their A320 and upcoming videos. Uh, I have the JetBlue Blueprint E190 and the 1 to 200 scale coming, and then I have the um, 
the high rise A320 Talcum coming in. So I'll definitely throw those in the next video and I also do an uh, individual review of those. And uh, whenever I do get back to college, I guess I say it to my apartment, I'll, I have the American 321, I have a JetBlue 3, well, I already did a review on that, but I have a JetBlue 190, American 321 that I haven't reviewed yet, so I'll go ahead and like shoot some some film on that, because semester, the beginning semester is not really that busy, so, but I'll have some free time at the beginning, but anyways, thanks again for watching, bye.